All right, hello guys. Um, <coughs> wow, I sound like shit, and I probably feel like shit. Anyway, uh, DJ Sworn for the Wicked Hour. Um, this is technically going to Strats Stratterday, Stratterday, because uh, of how my game works. It is an RP, uh, old timey RPG, which means you have to use strategy to fight through the battles. So this isn't just a random plug. Um, I've done a fuck ton of work. This is actually almost done. Um, the game is. Let's add. Let's add musics. Uh, it's it's very um very far along. Put it to like eighty maybe. Sure, why not? Um, and I'm almost I've almost finished with quite a lot of the major parts of it. Um, I'm gonna try to do a run through. It's gonna take a while because this game has actually gotten pretty long. Uh, so we're gonna begin. Ace is doing a monologue. Why does everything look a little bit Japanese? I'm in a video game, aren't I? Great. It looks like an old fashioned Japanese RPG. Man, I was terrible at these. Well, alright then, player. I hope you're good at this stuff. We should go see if we can find more people. I feel like I'm gonna need some help. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go talk to, uh, Amstress. I figured out how to, um, make it so I don't have to teleport to another instance of her tent. Um, boom. Sure, use the company. And, uh, this isn't like me changing over. I just changed their, um, visibility over. And we can go over here, blah, 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 and run down. Uh, the village, I might add a little bit of work on the village. Uh, the doors got fixed, I'm smart enough to do that. Um, here we go. So this is going to be pretty cool. No. Um, so how this originally worked is that it would originally it would just kind of say that over and over. But now that I've learned how to use self switches, uh, she'll actually change over to "Hey, little sis, you guys need something." Every time we don't have a cockatrice eye now, uh, but whenever we do bring her, we have a cockatrice eye in our inventory. She'll say, "Hey, you have a cockatrice eye. Um, bring me back one whenever you can. I'm always in need of them." Uh, it's the only like repeating quests that I have in right now, but you can continually do this quest and just get a little bit of gold and XP at any time. Uh, pretty easy. Don't have to do that much. Just own him. Single enemy snake. Uh, again, still single enemy, so pretty easy to take down. Nothing too hard here. Uh, where is this actually going to? Opening up every little internal part of my computer to you guys. Okay, 21.66. Alright. Uh, so we're just gonna keep trying to <laughs> make it through. Alright, so there's a, a lot here. Uh, we'll go blade twirl on the rat and double attack on the back. Boom! Just took a little bit of damage. These guys don't really do that much damage. Uh, they are like level one enemies. Uh, first time I've ever learned cure, not had to use it immediately. There's there's two poisonous enemies in this dungeon, and every single time I play this, I will use cure. Here we go. Party's victorious. Yay! Finally, got the cockatrice to pop out on the first try. Boom! Cockatrice took 201 damage, and we found a cockatrice eye. Three gold found. You'll notice that the uh, we don't have the treasure chest over here anymore. Try out fish. Um, I do actually have. I've got this uh, random loot generator now, which is really cool. Um, so I'll probably be making a lot more quests and stuff revolving around this first area, as well as like people who have walking animations just kind of wandering around the town. Definitely trying to make, gonna try to make the town a lot bigger. Um, this is a, like a playable alpha, I guess you could call it, in that it has 
a um, couple of quests. So, I mean, it's not terrible. Now let's go to our weapons dealer. Uh, get the staff of healing for Amistris. Ball Crusher and a Dagger for us. No refunds. Uh, so we're just gonna go to Equipment, Optimize. So freaking easy to do that, I love it. There we go. Um, Alright, so let's go to the Tavern, uh, the Pub. As we all know, you can always find stuff in the pub. I've added a few more people, aside from our old bartender, we got this guy, uh, who's just gonna get pissed at us, and his girlfriend. Uh, we have, uh, two people with books. Um, this is a, um, I guess you would call it, like, a legend quest, uh, in that it doesn't give you, um, it's not like a real quest if you uh, this is how you acquire Flame Strike, which is a very powerful sword. If you get this, if you get Flame Strike and you come back to her, she's just gonna say the same thing. It doesn't have like a check. Um, I could probably put in a check and just seem like, ooh, that seems like a cool sword or something like that. But uh, this is a rumor quest. You're not gonna get any XP for doing it. But you are gonna get a very powerful weapon. This is a quest quest. Um, But this is more like, um, it's like an implied quest. You have to go and find this thing, but <clears throat> it doesn't really tell you to. We're gonna go also uh, talk to the king before we go, just to show you um, what, he, what he says right now. Uh, what he says will actually change in time. It'll say, be gone peasants, I have no time to deal with you because, you know, it's a king. Anyway, we're going to sneak up here, um, walk out into the world map. Ooh. Yep, so, uh, there's now, um, more encounters that you can have in the world map. There's female thieves. Uh, there's a terrifying, um, there's a lot of, like, specialty creatures. There's nothing yet in the ruins. I want to make it so that you can generally walk through to the ruins, but say if you walk over here or down here, then you'd get an encounter. Um, since I've kind of forced you to walk through the ruins to get anywhere, I don't really like the idea of making the ruins very dangerous. A good person. Um, let's go actually go pick up Flame Strike first. God, I'm mad at eating plant! I had so much fun naming these for whatever reason, because whenever I made it, I always, like, had to joke around and be like, MAN-EATING PLANT! I, I just, it was so fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. So as you can see, uh, these guys are not level one. Uh, they're actually pretty badass. Um... So, it's not always very easy. Ooh. I actually have a lot of TP. I'm going to use our dagger skill plate for it. Oh. Um, level 3, learned Poison Blade. Now we're gonna go in here into a volcanic cave. Uh, I don't think I've showed you guys this. It hasn't really been done yet. <laughs> that was random. Uh, randomly, we're not getting attacked by anyone except for a single lob slime. Um, pretty easy to kill those guys, actually. We're gonna go ahead and heal up. I really like how this works. Uh, I can just go to Amistris's heal. Boom, boom, boom. 
there. You can heal them all real quick. Uh, in Lava Slime, uh, this is actually the first dungeon we have that's a progressive dungeon, uh, in that the enemies will get harder the further along you go. But really, they just get more numerous. Um, there's another one of these uh, later on down the line, the kind of main castle uh, that you come across for uh, the final, which holds uh, a mini boss and a final boss uh, for this area, actually. Uh, they both actually are. Uh, or they both have our progressive dungeons. Our progressive dungeons on. I'm gonna go ahead and blade twirl on him and use a swing attack to release. There we go. Um. more lava slimes. Nothing too major. Uh, these guys aren't really the hardest to kill. They don't tend to be. But they are definitely, as you guys can probably tell by the fact that we're having to fight them for long periods of time. They are actually, uh, you know, they're enemies. They're enemies that actually can do damage. Ooh, got surprise. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and attack. Uh, we're gonna let her uh, just heal up on me. Uh, we'll that so is. Um, blood magic doesn't really work right now. I mean, it kind of works, but it's really shit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put heal on I mean, admittedly, it, it could be worse. It could. It could actually be worse. Uh, but it's it's pretty bad. Uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna run around here. If we look at this chest, it's gonna say that it needs a gym. And here's where we're gonna get it from. Fire Sprite. God, she is downright sexy, isn't she? Um, we're gonna go ahead and attack. Oh, no, mind. Yeah, we do have a better skill. We're gonna go ahead and backstab her because she's got this epic looking. Gosh, and it does pretty much want to go. Uh, I mean, you gotta admit, that looks pretty epic. Uh, so flame strikes found. I give a instant teleport out because no one wants to deal with all that again. Uh, so if we look at it, uh, it doesn't really show us its stats. But if we go to equipment, and we change over, you will see. Boom! It it, it gets ridiculously high. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fight a uh, our way through a dark ruins spider dungeon. God, kill me. I did. I, d I did, in fact, make a spider dungeon. I know, I know, I'm a terrible person. I bitch about it to someone else. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not proud of it at all. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. My house. Both of those right the ass. Um, she's gonna have to uh, cure spider slime. God, flame strike is just so badass. Um, like it's it's. It, it was made to be a legendary weapon, so like, it, it does kind of make sense. Boom. You will. Um, damn, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love it. Alright, Cave Spider. 
focus all shit on that. So. Boom! And we got poison. Fuck you. Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and backstab Spider A. Uh, this isn't even gonna really work, but we're gonna try anyway. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and pick Spider B. I do just like the look of backstab. It's so happy. Spider poison found. Both of them. Seventy gold pieces. We're fine. Uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah, we can escape. Awesome. Oh God, spider touch. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I have no idea why I thought this would be a good idea to do. You gotta admit though, the backstab looks so cool. Like. Oh man. Uh, at this point, like damage wise, we're on level with the final boss. Uh, this is actually interesting. Andrew, um, both Ace and Amistress died <laughs> while I was going all the way through. And Andrew was able to solo uh, both the mini boss and the final boss. <laughs> Like, I made Andrew so good at being a tank that he just, like, he knows it. Spider slain. God, we got a bunch of loot from that one. Uh, cure up him, and he could probably use some heals. There we go. Do you flick it? Yes. Whoa, the dark ruins. There we go. Queen Spider emerge. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and use Vanish, actually. I haven't really used a lot of these. I'll show you guys how shit blood magic is. <laughs> It's, it's terrible. Um, I have no idea why. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, Goddess's Embrace and Armor Break. Um, I added some more skills. There's now skills going all the way up to level 8. They're pretty badass. Uh, so here we go. You can also find the alluring skull, which I forget what she does. Items. Uh, I think it's just something for, um... Yeah. I don't know. I, I, made, I made this. Oh, here we go. We can also have this stuff. You just keep doing this. <laughs> Until you finally decide to just leave it alone. And we're just gonna run away out of this one. Can't be bothered. God damn it. So many fucking spiders in this dungeon. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna run through down here. Not there. Uh, so yeah, there's still a little bit of polishing I can... I mean, I like how there are that many spiders in a spider dungeon. Just. As a developer, I think that's great. As a player, I just, I hate spider dungeons. So much. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go talk to this chick. Uh, she's actually, doesn't say it, but she actually just gave us the, uh, King's Ring. 
one. And she did not take the clean spider like she was supposed to. Oh well. Um... Anyway, if the king's ring, we can now go uh, and talk to the king. Uh, uh, we have the option of saying our names or screwing with them. I'm gonna screw with them first. I am Meow Zaydog, ruler of Canada. I am Black Widow. I use my lady pots to kill men. Andrew. Uh, I kind of, I kind of made Andrew to be this like no nonsense kind of guy. So he's, he's kind of funny in that, in that way. Anyway. Uh, say your name, semi-benevolent, cost my level, must or dice, tricks your figure, fair lady, amistress, the fairest, Andrew, well met adventurers, I have a quest for you, would you like to hear it? Sure. Uh, he must be up to no good, kill him and bring me his head as proof. Honestly, I don't care, find someone else to do your dirty work. <laughs> oh, you're actually a bit busy right now, you see, we're busy not caring. <laughs> Alright, for the legits. Um... Alright, we better get paid for this. Quick, you must kill that evil sorcerer. Okay. Now, this is a funny kind of thing. For whatever reason, the boat that I've been trying to use doesn't work. This, this is actually very interesting. You'd be surprised. Um, supposedly, I'd be able to use this boat as a vehicle to simply cross along the water. Hold on, we're gonna have to force an encounter or else that's gonna happen. <laughs> there comes a point where I just had way too much fun making this. Uh, actually, you know what, we should probably go get some here. There we go. Even if you can't pretty much uh, so we actually do have uh, a lot of dagger skills out now. We got a backstab on him. Watch that face. Use that swing. Actually, let's go ahead and save it for the swing. Go ahead and guard up so you guys can see this. There we go. Um, big swing. Not that much, but it does actually it does kill them both. Um, for whatever reason, it's this. Um. Man, he means land. We're just gonna roll around like that. Um. Yeah, I did make it to where, uh. I made it to where Ace can walk on water because of this. Uh, there's. There should be an event that plays here. Uh. It's. It's a future op. Not a future op. It's a Back to the Future reference. I'm sorry. Um. And Ace says, uh. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Or, we don't need boats. Uh, and it's him kind of making me walk on the water. Uh, let's go to our uh, equipment for Ace. We're going to optimize pistol on a dagger. And we're also going to go and pick up uh, some armor. Uh, I think we have enough money. Yeah, we have Um... So the witch's robes are pretty good. Uh, iron armor, obviously amazing. We're gonna go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna get the studded armor uh, for Ace. Perhaps he'll be less dead now. Yes. Uh, so we can go ahead. Up to All right. He just took off his clothes. Uh. Optimize, she can wear the witch's robes. The hell? Uh, 
Okay, that's weird. Um... I guess leather armor's broken. Uh, fine. We'll give him the leather duster. I mean, supposedly he's supposed to wear that anyway. Alright, so we are kind of, uh, we're kitted up. He has his, uh, pistol and dagger and all this great stuff. Um... I'm gonna save before we try to walk across because I have a feeling we might accidentally proc one of my favorite parts of this game. Oh, we didn't. Okay, I'm gonna proc him. Here we go. <laughs> I think this is a reference. Um, if anyone's ever played Pokemon, which I'm sure you have. Um, if you ever played Pokemon Red, then there was something called, like, Missing No, or something like that. Uh, and it's just, it doesn't, I think it has a texture or something like that, but it'll pretty much instant kill you, and, uh, <laughs> this thing can cast some nuclear, and it just owns everyone on the team. Save game beforehand. Um, technically, you can proc all over the map, but uh, there's no region. Oh, lava, lava slimes. I'm gonna see if we can't proc uh, another really funny one that I've made. Uh, just to see if I can proc him. Come on. Yes! A flaming heterosexual has emerged! <laughs> oh god, yes. Uh... <laughs> but you go ahead and use goddess as a race. Uh, there you go, he's dead. <laughs> it's, it's funny, because he's, he's not hard to kill at all, but I just love using it. There we go. Uh, so let's go into here. Ooh, the ruined castle. Does not want us to be in it. God, this is actually very hard, because there are a lot of succubi in here. Uh, and, I, and when I say a lot, I mean a fucking huge amount. Also, they can all cast shade. Um, it, I've had to tone it down. I had to tone it down from how powerful it used to be. Because it used to be ungodly amounts of power. Uh, it would pretty much uh, it would take down like a third of your health instantly. Uh, still, they are such a hard battle. Uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, use heal all here. I've toned the skill down because it used to be immensely OP, but even now it's still pretty dangerous. Also, they have an immensely high aid. But, lucky us, uh, we have guns and guns. Um, so, we're gonna go. Actually, what we can do is we can use Bang. This is gonna kill her. Uh, Bang is pretty epic because it ignores uh, any like armor defense. Uh, this is again a. This is another one of our progressive dungeons, actually. Um, so, in this area, uh, it's actually easier for you to get attacked. Like, there is no one. Succubus anymore. There's actually only two now. Um, in this area. All the way up until the final fourth area, which is like six, I think, maybe? Uh, let's actually use darkness. Uh, this is still probably overpowered, I think. I don't know if I really fix this one. Uh, we can breathe weapon on Andrew. This is where you start seeing it get really tactical.
Boom! Cast of Darkness. Uh, I kind of like the idea of the Void Walker being able to call up, like, some superpower from the Void. Uh, here, three is normal, but we've actually even gotten four. Pretty crazy. Uh, Ace does not have very much magic anymore. Uh, he doesn't really have that much to begin with, so... You know. Uh, pretty powerful moves. You know, they are powerful, but you gotta, you gotta be prepared to, uh, to fight without them. Pretty often, actually. Uh, goddesses embrace. Uh, that magical defense is gonna mean that Shade doesn't do as much damage to us. Hell of a useful. Uh... Gosh, that is... it's... Uh... She's just gonna get owned. Oof. Um... The first... this is definitely easier than the last time I tried to pull it off. However, I'm going to be eating those words now because... Uh, let's, we're gonna have to save up and hope that we can pull off something really impressive. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Goddess's Embrace again. Uh, the thing about Amistris is that she does have the uh, Witch's Robes on. So she's actually got a uh, pretty impressive uh, uh, We're gonna be able to boom on the shit out of one of them. Andrews regained balance, lucky us. Uh, as you can see, Amistress has already regained uh, all of her magic. Uh, we're gonna increase Andrews' attack, hopefully. And we still can't really, uh, take them all out just yet. Well, shouldn't really need to, though. Ooh, man. Uh, we can actually use... We can't use Berserker Dance, but we can use Big Strike. Should... Yeah, didn't even really need to. Ooh. Yeah, this, it, it gets pretty intense pretty quickly, actually. Um, and here's where it should be the most intense. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I made this to be this intense. I actually did. Um, luckily, we do have guns, which is like a free kill almost. Stab though, which oh yes. Um, and we can just boom. God, that shade. Uh, lucky us, we can again use bang. I'm gonna go ahead and heal all. Down one by one. Oh my gosh. Uh, they're stunned. Devastating. No joke. Come on. Oof. Imbalance. 
it's right just in case. Ooh. Oh, but we've got some really powerful abilities now as we go to the boss. Like all this. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna show you all one of my favorite abilities. I think we've already seen this one, but you know what? It's pretty epic. Owned! So fucking owned! Uh, I've been meaning to make the mana cost for that quite a bit more. I don't, I don't even think it would help. Uh, but you can definitely see what I mean when I say progressive dungeon. Like, holy shit. A lot of succubi, alright? LOL, mutes. Uh, so we have maxed out our abilities, actually. So. Level, level 8. Uh, let's get him. We're gonna run after this guy. This is gonna be one of the few times you can actually, um... You're, you're, for one, you're forced into the fight, and uh, for two... Ah, uh, it's like a legitimate fight. <laughs> we just used a gun. Uh, so we got the source for a skull. And we get teleported into the void. Ooh. We will fight um, the big boss of this area. This is um, Ciela, the power of lust. Uh, in the Voidwalker universe, the powers are the different gods and goddesses uh, that we view uh, as humans. Um... They're not, I mean, there's the powers of chaos, the powers of order, neither are really good or evil. Um, however, some are more ruthless than others, and what we're going to be finding, we're going to be finding Ciela, the power of lust. Uh, and we kind of fucked up there. Um, <laughs> you're some kind of goddess, right? Do you have to look like 3,000 pounds of flesh with a fat kid trying to escape? And we fight Ciela, and um, we're gonna we're just gonna fucking own the shit out of her, honestly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and goddess embrace everyone, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and big strike. I mean, boom! Yeah, there we go. Fuck the just. Yep. Boom! It's light. Pillar of Light flashes, and we're gonna go get, uh, we're gonna get Vengeance, and I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, put Vengeance on, we're now dual wielding pistols, so we have ridiculous amounts of damage. Uh, and we're gonna go back to, um, we're gonna go turn in the Sorcerer's Skull quest. Very quickly. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's changed quite a bit from what it was when I first showed it off. Uh, and that's gonna, he just gave us, um, the King's Seal. Uh, which doesn't do anything. It's just the King's Seal. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, in theory it would allow, it would be like a specialty item that would allow you to go somewhere else or something like that. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's just, as of right now, it's, it's, uh, this is pretty much it. Um, However, we do have some mystical beasties uh, that I would like to fight. Uh, we can't use any of our dagger skills now because we are using two guns. However, you're gonna see we don't need to. <laughs> oh.
I mean, <laughs> there there comes a point where you're just too much of a badass. And we've totally hit it. Now I am actually hunting a uh, specific entity which has a chance of spawning in the hills. And it's not a billion fucking bees. <laughs> Although it would be kind of funny to see our the specialty. Uh, bees! Which is like eight bees. Uh, male and female thief working together. Come on! Oh, I want to show off one of the specialty elevators. Just fucking. Mainly because I want to show that how powerful Ace gets. You can literally just one shot the fuck out of it. Bees emerged. Oh, God, there's like a billion bees. He doesn't really have the highest chance of showing up in the world. Uh, assassin, not that big a deal. Uh, he, his, this guy's got a weight of two, but inevitably this should work. Yeah, we, luckily we can just escape from all these guys. Oh, bees. I'm just waiting for Missing Go to come and fucking nuke the hell out of me. Um, but he shouldn't, he shouldn't really have that much of a chance to. Bees, 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 bees! Uh, damn it. I'm really, uh, what we have the ability, what we've added is we've added a bunch of really fucking bees. We added a bunch of fucking bees, that's what I added. Uh, we've added a bunch of rares, and I'd really like to see one of those rares appear. And a man-eating plant had the ability to spawn in hills. To be honest. Fucking bees. Billions of fucking... It's like Pokemon, kind of. You know, you're trying to, uh... You're trying to get that one super special Pokemon. Uh, and it just doesn't want to fucking show up. You just get, like... You're trying to... It's like trying to find Rayquaza and getting, like, a fucking billion mudkips. Those, those don't have anything to do with one another. I, I should have. I haven't played Pokemon in a while. I, I don't even know what a Rayquaza is. That's how long it's been. Uh, notice I put Missing Go in there. That was the last time I played a Pokemon game. It's Pokemon Red. God damn it. Fucking billions of man-eating plants and shit. Assassin. Take my anger out on this bitch. <laughs> Boom! I have guns. God, guns are... I, I made guns pretty powerful, at least for here, but, um... I might start... Uh, the random loot bit hasn't been fully worked out, I'm working on- I'll probably finish that off today, though. Um, and after that I'm actually gonna start work on the, uh, next, uh, the next universe. Um, well, actually, no, never mind. I'm gonna polish off the rest of this universe probably today. But if I end up finishing it, then I'm gonna work on the next universe. Uh, and the next universe is going to be a really cool one. Uh, because I have decided that I've had enough of this kind of stupid shit, and we're gonna go to a futuristic sci-fi area. Uh, cause you know what? I, I just like the idea of going to a, of going to a futuristic sci-fi area. I think, um, I don't know, it just, it just sounds like a badass thing to do, so we're gonna go ahead and do it, cause, uh, Ace is all about the badassery. Um, in all actuality, uh, I kind of wanna, I wanna make guns a more, uh, like, impressive thing. Uh, you're gonna see, uh, Amistris and, probably not Andrew, because Andrew's pretty overpowered, but Amistris and Andrew are gonna fall behind pretty quickly. 
uh, in this new realm, which is why you're going to get uh, a new companion, who's uh, going to be a completely insane uh, ex-assassin. Uh, whose name I'm not going to, uh, whose name I'm not going to let out yet. But, uh, yeah, that should, uh, I'll get to work on that soon. This, however, I, I have to go over, I'm actually entering this in, a uh, Humble Bundle's, uh, RPG Maker Contest, uh, Voidwalker. Um, I've got, uh, a buddy working on, a uh, custom, like, models for, uh, items and stuff like that, and custom tile sets and all this really cool stuff, so it's gonna look a lot better later on in the game. But, um, I'm definitely kind of looking around, uh gonna have to look at the rules for that to see if I can kickstart it and submit it to the competition, or if I have to, um, you know, like, be done, you know, if I can do that or not. I'm not sure if I can or not, so. I mean, I'll, I'll look into that. If I can, then expect a kickstarter, uh, announcement or whatever to go up. Um, anyway, for, uh, DJ, I've been, blah, been DJ Storm for the Wicked Hour. Bring your daily dose of magic and gaming. Uh, this has been Stratterday. It may not... It, it, it better seem like it. If you don't think it is, then you can shut the fuck up. Uh, this is the first time we've played something other than StarCraft for Stratterday for, like, fucking... Since, <laughs> since we started this channel, we've either missed it or we've played StarCraft. Uh, so, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'll, uh... I, I don't, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are probably really pissed off, I've been, this channel has gone to shit. Uh, and I, there's, one part of it is, uh, trying to do Watch Dogs gameplay, and Watch Dogs has become immensely broken, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard the tales of what's happened, but my problem is simply that, uh, the save game didn't go to the cloud, so right now I'm playing off my save game on this computer, which I actually got pretty far through it on only 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, so I'd have to, and every time I try to start a new game, it just bugs the fuck out and crashes. Um, I, th I think Ubisoft's trying to fix that, and so hopefully I'll be able to get back into it really soon. The problem was uh, it was some of the Uplay rewards. Um, I got all of them right off the bat, and apparently the Golden D50 break your game, so, gotta figure out a way around that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably put some more hours into this, uh, and then see about maybe recording, like, a, a Monday, MOBA, MOBA, but MOBA, but not a MOBA day, a, a Misc Monday or something like that, we'll see. But, uh, until next time, uh, goodbye.